This is my first video on how to program an ARMV assembly using the GNU assembler. Uh, some other assemblers may have some slightly different uh, syntax for things like comment styles. This is a comment. And this particular video, I want to start off by using basic arithmetic. Now note that this is a comment. This is a legal comment style here. If you know the C programming language or one of its derivatives, you're used to slash star, star slash, allowing multi-line comments. The at symbol allows a single line comment. Some other assemblers will support the semicolon, but the GNU assembler doesn't. Um, so be aware of that. And all the standalone programs I write will start with this, dot global underscore start, and this is a label. And then they will end with these two lines, which are telling the program to exit. So once again, if you know how to program in C, this would be very similar to the main function in a C program. So let's do some basic arithmetic. Now, you should be aware that there are 16 registers for the RMV7, and uh, the first 12 of those are general purpose registers, and so we'll use several different registers here. We need to store values, though, in the registers. So for that, we use the move command. So move R1, comma, pound three. This is put the number three into register three, or excuse me, register one. Once I have something in a register, I could use a register to store value in a register. So move R3, comma R2, which says R3 is equal to R2. And now let's do some arithmetic. So I can do add R4, comma R1, comma R2. This says R4 is equal to R1 plus R2. Also, could do something like this, R4, comma, R1, comma, say, pound 10. This should replace the existing value in R4. And these values here are called immediate values, but really they're constants. So that's what I'm doing here. Do a subtraction if I wanted to, R5. Uh, comma R1 comma R2 R5 comma R1 pound 6 for example and we can do a multiply now for the multiply we do need to use registers for all three places so we'll say uh, R1 comma R2 to multiply these and so this right here is R5 is equal to R1 minus R2. This is subtracting 6 from R1. And this says that R6 is equal to R1 times R2. And there's also some have uh, something we can use called multiply and accumulate. MLA. And we'll do, say, R6, comma, uh, R1, R2, R4. And this is that R6 is equal to R1 times R2 plus R4. And so once again, this is called multiply and accumulate. So let's see what happens. So on the GNU assembler, I'm coming over here to assemble it. I'm going to assemble from the command line. So I have AS. Uh, typically, I want to give it an output name. So I'm going to say, because I call this ex.s, I'm going to say dash o for ex.o to create the object file. And I'm going to tell it what the input file name is, which is ex.s. And we're going to look at this in the debugger. So I need to include debugging information. Without this, I wouldn't get the information that the debugger needs. Now I need to link it, so LD, I'm going to give it an output name, dash O, and just call it EX. And then, in this case, I'm just using the object file. 
if we look at what I created here, EX is the executable. So I could run it, but we didn't tell it to do anything, so that wouldn't really do a lot for us. Now I'm going to call it the debugger and give it EX. Now I'm going to set a breakpoint, and I always, for me, I always set it to this, underscore start. I'm going to tell it to run, and now I'm going to want to see the register, so I'm going to type layout, R for registers, and here's the registers up here. Okay? So we can see it already executed the first line, which is put three into R1, and now I'm gonna press the letter S to step, so S enter. There's the four. I just said R3 equals R2, so I put that there. Now I'm gonna add R1 and R2, so I get seven. I'm gonna say R1 plus 10, and I also put it in R4, so that changes it to that, so three plus 10 is 13. Now we're gonna do three minus four, and what's this giving us here? Well, this is a hexadecimal number. And let's write over here. This, this pattern is all ones. So if we were to, we're right here. It gave us the binary number of a bunch of ones. I'm not gonna write out all 32, but this is a twos complement number. If we were to take this and convert it into what we think it is in base 10, this would be negative one because I said three minus four is negative one and this would be the base two's complement of negative one. So that is technically correct. Now I'm gonna keep stepping and we just subtracted six from three. We got a slightly different number. We can see here because of the D, once again, these are hexadecimal and this would be the base two's complement of negative three and now i'm going to do a multiply so three times four is 12. let's do the multiply and accumulate and we get 25. so 12 plus 13 is 25 and we have that and i'm going to continue to exit and now i'm going to quit so if you're not familiar with two's complement representations for negative numbers you should become familiar with that that's your basic arithmetic right there.